Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial on programming knowledge. So today we are going to work with NLTK. So NLTK is basically a pip package. Uh, so pip is a Python package manager and NLTK is a pip package which is a Python package used for natural language text processing. So basically you will find all the powerful Python uh, commands and algorithms and like tools and libraries inside NLTK. So uh, and you can refer to like various topics such as text mining and natural language processing using NLTK. So basically you can uh, advance yourself uh, to text learning and also, uh, and also improvise some machine learning algorithms using NLTK. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So the first command you need to uh, install inside your machine is pip install NLTK. So this would install NLTK on your machines and since it says requirement already satisfied because I've already installed the NLTK package uh, inside your uh, inside uh, my machine. So it says requirement already satisfied. Then next you can do uh, you can do import NLTK okay and you can type NLTK NLTK dot download so uh this is uh like since i uh, just want to make clear that since pip is a python package manager uh in the same way nltk.download is a package manager for nltk itself so when i run this file so i can do python 1.py since i have uh, saved this file using 1.py so it suddenly opens the nltk downloader so this is a package manager for nltk itself so you can Install all the modules and packages here by clicking uh, by selecting them and click on the download. Uh, one you should install before this tutorial is this uh, punct manager. So how you can install simply what you can do you just keep the identifier here since punct is the identifier for the punct tokenizer model. So what you can do you can do download you can type the uh, auto, uh, like identifier and when you run this so it will install the specifically the same. So when I run this file, uh, it will download and it says downloading package punk and punk package is already up to date. Another you can do either you uh, specify the name or what you can do, you can simply run python 1.py and you can like uh, uh, run all the pack, uh, you can download all the packages from here. Okay, so you can click on uh, this corpora models and all packages and either clip them, click them, you can also multi, uh, select them and, uh, and click on download and you can click here for refresh. The another way is I've already told you that you can uh, mention the package. So let's start with uh, tokenization today. So tokenization is a very basic concept. Okay, this is a text which is in a triple quotes. Okay, so make sure you observe this. This is in triple quotes and it has a space after every dot like this. This is the way we are handling this. Okay. Now what you can do, you can do uh, first you can do from NLTK dot tokenize import word underscore tokenize and print word underscore tokenize text. Okay. Now let's uh, run this. So, uh, I'll comment this and I'll move to this part. Yeah. So let's run this and I'll do just type python1.py and let's start this. So here you can see that all the words have been separated. So this is the word tokenization. Okay. Now let's comment this. Now let's move with another one. So you can do from nltk dot tokenize import sent underscore tokenize and now you can see this word uh, i would do print sent underscore tokenize text okay so yeah now you can run this and here you can say welcome you to programming knowledge let's start with the first tutorial on nltk we shall learn the basics of nltk here so you can see now the sentence tokenization has been uh, observed so achieve uh, another another thing you can do okay so like what you can do so you can do from nltk dot nltk dot probability so you can type and uh, so i'm not sure that this package has been installed so if it throws an error we would resolve this probability 
import frequent distribution okay so this and, and then i would do print frequent distribution okay so this uh, takes a parameter as tokenized words okay so let's uh, okay i'll do this what i can do uh, i'll comment uh, i'll what i'll do this should be inside tokenized word underscore tokenize is equal to word underscore tokenize and i'll pass text okay and i also comment this out so and this would take this as a parameter word underscore tokenize so make sure you notice, notice the difference this is word underscore tokenize and this is good to go now okay let's run this yeah so with frequency distribution with 21 sa uh, samples and 24 outcomes okay so this is the it shows and you can type uh, a, a function what i can show you you can even store this uh, inside the uh, variable fd okay and okay yeah so now you can and store the store this in the variable fd and you can type fd dot most underscore common and how much common you need to try, uh, find either you can find the at most most two common or most three common so let's do most three common okay so let's run this now you can see uh, so it says dot is the most common and it is a two and welcome so this is the stop word and in future context, we will refer how to remove this stop, uh, stop words because they are of new use, no use. Okay. So uh, another thing you can install is uh, a, a Python package which is pip install mat plot lib. Okay. Mat plot lib. So you can do pip install mat plot lib. So this will install the mat plot lib on your local machine and uh, like you can wait this to for a second to over and this is like a uh, noise computer okay so you can uh, import this on the top import mat plot lib dot by plot as plot okay so you can mat plot lib dot by plot as plot and then you can what you can do so then you can what you can do you can since you can uh, frequency fd dot plot okay plot and you can do 30 as a scale and cumulative is equal to false okay and then you can do plot dot show okay so now it's good to go and then we can run this okay and let's run this okay yeah now we are running so so this may take a moment So now you can see that uh, since it, like it was building for the font cache, this may take a moment. So so this is the graph it has plot. So like we, this is like the frequency is the one and the frequency of NLTK. Uh, like so this is how we have achieved this. So like I told you that dot had a frequency of three. NLTK of two welcome with one. So NLTK refer to the three frequency and the sorry the dot referred to the three frequency nltk referred to the frequency of two so this is the scale you can see okay and this is how we achieve this and this is the graph you can plot okay so this is like uh, nltk refers to the frequency of two dot refers to the frequency of three and this is we achieve this so this is was interesting and basic tutorial so i'll catch you in the next tutorial so thank you everyone for watching this thank you